of my jobs today when checking out this car for a service after it's been through winter is to um, replace these brake pipes now these have been replaced once before but they replaced them with galvanized steel piping and as you can see galvanized and salt water and steel well they're not the best of friends they all fall out and get upset I know they're aftermarket ones because somebody hasn't bent them right and of course the original ones would have had a green covering on them so I've got to get them out now before I start to hack away at those and try and get those fittings off I'm going to put a, a clamp on the pipe to stop any fluid from leaking these are just, I've had these for donkey's years, I must have had these about 25, 30 years I don't think they make them anymore I think, I think Noah was the last person who used them on his arc there we go, that's that clamped on then we'll do the other side, so what you've got to do is try and get this um, plastic tubing out of the way and then get this in without clamping onto the ABS line I don't want to do that, there isn't much room we could do it at the top but obviously the closer you do it the closer you put the clamps on to the actual pipe joint itself is good for two reasons being a Yorkshireman you're not wasting all that fluid in that pipe but the other thing is we can put a pair of vice grips on the back of here and get this fitting off but before I do anything else, I just want to turn over to here and look at this caliper. I can see somebody's been at this before because uh, the, the uh, disc dust cover's missing. I'm not too happy with the rotors, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean them up a bit. Um, yeah, I have my suspects about that. I, I really don't know. I'll have to tell the customer about that but I've got to try and get this bleed screw out of here and that doesn't look fun so what I'm going to use is a set of sockets like this these are single hex sockets and they're deep and I'm only going to use them on a quarter drive I could be tempted to use this spanner but as you can see this is a 7 16th or an 11 millimeter and it doesn't fit so it must be 10 millimeter So I got the uh, bleed screws out, that was good, again deep socket and now I'm going to try and get out these fittings from here. No, don't ever ever use a blowtorch, <laughs> I was only joking, don't ever use a blow blowtorch to warm up the fittings, it is a definite definite no no, why? Because the heat will travel through here and burn the rubber and then once you start to bleed it through, you think, well, oh, great, that's no problem. You'll melt the rubber. As soon as you put some pressure on, you may have to do an emergency stop. There might be a polar bear going across the road. You never know. We're in Canada. And uh, the, the pipe will pop out, and then you'll lose all your fluid. It's not good. So never, ever use propane on hydraulics or heat. Even in the calipers, if you got, like we had that sticking caliper, you know, if we had a sticking caliper here, um, the last thing you want to do is heat it up because you'll just destroy the rubber inside. So where, it, where if it's just bare metal, it's metal to metal, like you're trying to get a screw out, you can warm it up. But if there's any signs of rubber seals or plastic, never. All right, you've, you've been warned. So I've got the, um, these pipes here have been soaking for a little while, I've put some of my nice uh, deep creep, again not named, not named after me, um, and we're going to get these fittings off. Now unfortunately I haven't got a 10mm or 11mm fitting, I've only got a 7.16 and it won't fit. What I'm going to do I've got, I've got these 
cutters the other day from uh, a shop. They were only about seven or twelve dollars. I can't remember. I bought a lot of stuff, but they're uh, diagonal cutters, but they're le levered. You know, like a pair of bolt cr cutters. So we've got to go really close to the fitting, and just snip them off like that. How nice is that? That's brilliant, isn't it? So, once they're out of the way, and now you can see the reason why we put the clamps on, so we haven't got fluid all over the floor, we're going to find a suitable socket. Well, was, uh, hold on, let's try, try that. Oh. I don't even know what size these are. Well, look like 12 millimeter. Now, again, favourite tool is this pair of Irving grips. Vice grip, the sort of original vice grip. And these are great because you can work them with one hand. Whereas these are a little sort of bit clumsy and they sort of catch your fingers and things. But, because the pipe's worn out a little bit, this is my smallest size I've got. And it's too big. So I'm going to try a pair of vice grips and then we're going to try and struggle on with this. So I'm going to miss this boring bit out and um, we'll come back in a minute. Actually, they weren't too difficult to get out. They were tight, but they weren't too rusted in. I think that's due to the uh, rust proofing, uh, the um, penetrating oil. So I'm going to try and get this one out real time. There we go. Wasn't too bad, eh? I'll tell you honestly, soak, soak things in penetrating oil and they'll come out really, uh, really easy sometimes. Now if you notice when I was putting these grips on, I didn't grip it up here on the pipe, I gripped it as close to the body, to the thread as I could. And these have got these daft little clips on. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, to show you, like modern day cars are just sort of clipped together. They used to have um, a nut on and a nut at the back so you could grab hold of them. But they've done away with that now and the, this, this piece of metal bracket has got a punched hole in it and these slip through so they don't turn and then you put the, the little fork clip on and it holds it in place. Well, if you're chewing away at this, what you can do is actually bugger up the bracket then you're in all sorts of trouble. So we don't want that, That's, that'll spoil your day. So, so far so good, this is going to go, this is going really good. So now I've got to do the same on the front of the pipe and then I can replace these pipes and I'm going to use some copper pipe, but the thing is I'm going to put a link... Where are you? I always get this wrong. Here! That's right. I'm going to put a link on to how to make brake pipes and how to measure them up. I've already done a video, but not many people saw it. So, um, that's the next step. Here's a, a question I get asked quite often. Can you use brake pipe flare uh, fittings again? Well, yes you can. Providing the sides here at the top are parallel like this. If the tops are flared out, no, because what will happen is, although you could get a seal when the, this is without the piping, but although you could still get a seal in it, like on there, you'll have a hell of a job trying to screw it in because the, when it's flared out, sometimes what, what happens with these things, they're actually the same diameter as the thread. And you can see on the here, these are British type fittings or European type fittings, they're actually, the thread is undercut, so there's a couple of threads missing. Well, when they're flared out, what happens is they get so wide, they get caught in the threads, and then you get a problem where it cross threads. So, um, not advisable. Um, I'm probably going to check all these out, out uh, in a minute, but for now, we're going to put new ones on. So I got the brake pipes on late last night and um, got them all fed, all bled through and things like this and everything was fine. The only thing I don't like about Cunifer, the, cop the nickel piping, is it's kind of difficult to get it in a straight line. Ben's lovely, but difficult to get in a straight line. Um, <laughs> I had a bit of a problem trying to bleed them through, I must admit. Um, I had my vacuum pump on and things like this, not, not my personal vacuum pump naturally, but uh, my vacuum pump and trying to suck the fluid through and I eventually got it through and I found out the cap was blocked 
so <laughs> I was I was I couldn't get anything through so hopefully that'll work now because I need to change the fluid it's it's wise to change the brake fluid in cars every now and again because sometimes they never get changed one thing I did want to say to you because it is well it's not fun but it is kind of interesting I've used tie wraps to hold on the uh, pipe uh, because the original clips had all broken off well, in fact there's only one that's actually still working but in Quebec we have a strange thing for motor vehicle inspection like the MOT in England you see if a car's kept licensed or registered so that means we pay our car tax we don't have to have an inspection how weird is that the only time you need to have an inspection if you've imported a car or it's come from out of province or if it's if you've not paid the annual registration fee then if it goes a day over then you have to have it re-inspected and a lot of cars are scrapped because they are so bad that they'll never pass inspection so when we bring a car in from the United Kingdom or Europe or Poland whatever you want to call it we have to go through inspection and they are very very anal it goes from the sublime to the ridiculous now what I'm leading up to is this a couple of years ago I took a vehicle down to for inspection and the guy said uh, yeah no everything's fine except uh, the brake pipe clips I says, what's wrong with them? I've, I've used cable ties. He says, you can't use those now. I says, why? You know, why can't we use cable tie clips? You know, we've used them for donkey's years. He says, they're not UV stable. I said, what? Not UV stable? Are you, are you joking? And he says, no, no, because they'll, they'll break uh, in UV. But I said, they're under the car. How, how are they going to get UV on them? Well, the always says, uh, so they have to be replaced by a little, you know those little P-clips with a little rubber insert? You're supposed to put those on. And weld brackets onto your axle and weld brackets on and put those on. And I said, but you could have a car here for 10 years and rust it out and, and you're worried about P-clips on brake pipes? It's best to have them fastened up than not fastened at all. <laughs> but apparently, be warned, now, this is how bureaucracy works in government. I'm sure there's guys in little offices just sort of thinking, mm, what can we make up today to make life very difficult for people? So, anyway, this job's done. I'm going to bleed it through now. Um, I'm going to use my pump. Now, I made this. I made this, you know. These are garden sprayers. Now, I'm going to put a link up. Uh, where is I always get this bloody wrong. Put it up here about a guy... He's some, somewhere in Eastern Europe or somewhere, I don't know. He, he's not in English anyway. <laughs> I suppose now he'll be called racist. But anyway, he gets these garden sprayers and teaches you how to turn them backwards into vacuum pumps. And you can see how much vacuum it gets into it because it'll actually collapse this. And the reason why it collapsed because I was trying to suck fluid through the, um, through the reservoir with a block cap. But the joke about it was, I had to wait till five o'clock till my mate Jim came home, because we got <laughs> I couldn't open the bonnet. You know, P38s have two clips on, two bonnet catches, and one of them, for some strange reason, was out of line, and it would it wouldn't quite open. So we spent about half an hour trying to work out what it was, and then uh, readjusted the readjusted the bonnet, and then I could get on to doing the brakes. So anyway, that's it. I think we've got that just about covered. We've shown you a few tips and things like this. I'm going to polish up these rotors on here, these discs. Let's move the camera a bit. Or might replace them. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you like that. There's a little bit, a few tips and pieces. Of, uh, tips and pieces? Tips about um, brake pipes, fitting, things to watch out for. But it is quite simple. Um, not, nothing rocket science, but if you get stuck, give me, ask me a question. Talk to you later. Bye.